Okay, people, so remember that forest that I went for a run in, uh, like what, like it was like a few days ago? So um, the other night, a recent discovery was made. Uh, these forests might have some demonic uh, presence. Now, you're probably saying, Steve, you're tripping, but let me explain, and I have proof. So we're going to go in here yet again. <laughs> Luckily, during the daytime, as you can see, beautiful uh somewhat cloudy skies but you can see that little blue over there see that little blue look at that blue oh yeah that blue is beautiful all right so we're gonna um head in here and then i'll show you what i saw so uh i went in there last night with a group of free girls um they were just here at the park last night i have no idea i was on my way to a uh, event and um to meet up with some people whatever and uh well uh they just uh, told me like this this forest they found like a uh, certain thing um, walking through it that night and so uh, like a goofball my curiosity sparked and uh, well uh, so I went in there with them and uh, well what I found was kind of disturbing but it could be like hey Steve you're like a pussy or it could be like hey Steve that's freaking freaky and you should get the fuck out of there so you're gonna you're about to see what I am experiencing so these woods, I have no idea how long they were here, and I have no idea uh, um, how many people go through here a day, but, I mean, there's always that one asshole who's, like, into, like, some freaky shit and decides to do something about it to just screw up everybody's everybody's peaceful experience um, walking through a forest at night, right? And I mean, at night, this place is not as bad because, I mean, you know, you still have the trail, but it is a little freaky and um, it makes you uneasy. So, um, well, I mean, when I went through here and saw this at nighttime, this just made a little matters worse. So I did have a flashlight because I am a nerd when it comes to mean flashlights, and it made it all like a horror game. I mean, the only sound you could pretty much hear was our, our breathing. But yeah, that's the forest. It goes a long freaking way, guys. It goes a long freaking way. I mean, you almost expect Slender Man to come out and be like, "What's up, bitch?" But yeah, it was mad. It's 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 kind of peaceful during the daytime. It make you have houses and you have the road. So when you see the road, you know you're alright. But um, so I think even those demonic pricks that uh did this thing were um a little freaked out too, uh, and they did this just to be safe. I mean, like, and the fact that when I was walking, like, last night with the three lovely girls that were there, um, not mean to be saying lovely, because, uh, well, yeah, I have a girlfriend. All right, so it was right about here somewhere. Up, oh, yep, there it is. All right, let's get a little closer to that, guys. Okay, if you all know what that is, that is a pentagram. So, I'm not going to step fully onto that site because I know some crap could actually get into me. And I don't feel like bringing any demons home, no offense. But, um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. And the best part is that this trail is near a children's park. Which makes all matters worse because, of course, there's children that probably run through here, you know? Oh, don't want any of those children becoming a little demon baby, don't we? So, hey, uh, to whoever drew that freaking thing, you are a massive jerk. And, uh, just know that if, uh, hell exists, you're going to it. I'm just kidding, we all know the answer to that. But anyway, um, so, yeah. Well, we're at the end here, so. Ah, uh, jeez. Lord help these people.